Hi everyone, welcome to Getting No Kingman. I'm your host, Earl Hamlin. All right, folks, we have a really special show for you today, but since it's the beginning of a new year, you know, it's all 2012 here. And again, we hope the Mayans are wrong. Who knew? <laughs> anyway, uh, today the show is, my special guest is Linda West. She is a psychic, she's a medium, and she talks with angels. How appropriate for a new year. So don't go away, we've got a lot of show for you. And she's written a book, it's called Eight Keys, okay? And we're going to talk to her about the book and uh, some of the adventures she's had in her life. And who she talks to, angel-wise. We'll be right back after these messages. You're watching Getting No Kingman. Don't go away. Hi everyone, welcome back to Getting No Kingman, and welcome my guest, Linda West. How are you? I'm great. How Thank are you, Earl? Very good. Thank you very much for being here. I know how busy you are. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. I am a psychic medium, okay. angel communicator. Mm -hmm. I'm a mom, mm -hmm. business owner, wife, wife mm -hmm. all of the above, all just like that. everybody else, just okay. doing here, life. Here's my first question. Why do they call it a psychic medium? Why not a large or an extra large or a small? Why medium? Good question, huh? Yeah. I love that question. Anyways, sure. psychic is uh, you're supposed to be able to read people's future mm -hmm. or pick up the energy around a person, let mm -hmm. them know what's going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. uh, medium is somebody who connects with those who are crossed over, mm -hmm. those who are on oh. the other side. Um, your rich like aunt who's left the money somewhere. Uh -huh. Yeah. You, Connect like, with us. Well, like Etta Mae Brown in, in the movie Ghost? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I love that movie. I do too. I love her. She should have an Academy Award for that. Anyway, all right. How did you get into this? Did, did, did the folks from the other side come over and go, Linda, we want to talk to you? Or you know, how, did, how, did they, how did you get into this? Kind of like what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> did they use the Russian Don't you think accent? that they, you know, they kind of choose you? It's like, hey, you want to do this? It's, oh my goodness. Um, I actually went to a class from a, um, a lady named Dr. Doreen Virtue. Some of your people may be very familiar with her. Mm -hmm. She's uh, the original, I would say, angel lady. And she, te she was teaching classes to open up your psychic abilities. She called it an angel therapy practitioner course. Mm -hmm. And personally, I always like um, um, ignorance being bliss because I was actually looking for something to do in the spiritual realm that, to get away. I live in a very small town. Mm -hmm. So I was looking up Doreen Virtue and I saw she had this class. So it was in uh, California, I mean, Southern California in the winter. Hey, why not? Mm -hmm. And when I got there, and you know, this, it, it's so interesting because some people think this is so woo woo, but we're always getting communications. We're always getting intuition. We're always getting feelings about things. You know, do this, don't do this. Sometimes we listen to it, sometimes we don't. Mm -hmm. So I get to this class and I find out that she's actually gonna teach us how to do readings on people. And I was thinking, I'm not gonna do readings on people. And I'm getting this voice, which may not sound, may sound weird to some people, but Archangel Michael, and he's talking to me and he says, yeah, you're gonna be doing readings on people. It's like, really, seriously, you know, I don't wanna do this. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna be re that responsible. He's like, no, 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 you're gonna be doing readings on people. So how long do you stand and argue with an archangel? You don't. So I said, okay, fine. I had already had an alternative therapies business in Pine Top, Arizona. Mm -hmm. I was doing massage therapy and energy work on people. And I would pick up things uh, when I was working on someone or, you know, your, your dead husband wants you to know this or, you know, here's some information that you should do. But I never considered myself psychic. You really have to kind of claim that and embrace it as part of who you are. Each of us has that. But once I did that and went, okay, 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 I'll do this. And um, everything just kind of opened up and you can get information, you can get guidance, everybody can. I just happen to do it for a living. Okay, now, when, why do people fight this? I mean, it seems like in the Isn't beginning. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It seems, and, and, and most of the people that have this ability, they always seem when they first start out, they, I, I don't want to do this, you got to be kidding me. Why is it that you want to, why, why did you fight it? Because it puts you in the forefront. It give, it's, it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility to keep ego out of it, for one, and it's, a, and it's a responsibility that you have to figure out that you're gonna be guiding people mm -hmm. on a spiritual path. And I take that very seriously. Um, I have to keep my integrity in. And no, you know, I never thought of myself as being in the forefront. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought of myself as being in the background helping people. 
And here you find when you do something like this, all of a sudden people are paying attention to you and they, they you know, they're like, really? Wow. Well, sometimes it's good attention, sometimes well, but it's not. Do, do, you, do you have a fear of people not believing you? No, not anymore. That, at that, first you did. At first? At first I did, yeah. I, I would think, for, you know, personally, if someone came, you know, our, Michael came to me and said, you're going to Hey, by the way, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're going to do readings. <laughs> no, you, uh, you don't know the people I know. No, no, we're not doing that. But you had a fear in the very beginning then. Yeah. Was it a big fear? No, evidently not, because no. I jumped right in. And already having an alternative therapies business, mm -hmm. when I went, came back from that week, and my deal was, uh, you know, I'm not pounding the payment. I'm not going to let everybody know, hey, I'm a psychic medium. You need to come see me now. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted, I said, okay, if you want me to do this, then you've got to bring people to me. And people just started coming, seriously, for readings. And kind the more I did it. build it and they will come type yeah, thing? Yeah, it was. It, it type of, of course, that's the way the divine works anyways. That's the way energy so works. When you accepted this responsibility, how did your life change? It puts you in a position of having to walk your talk. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so, yeah. And, um, you know, if I'm going to tell somebody, you know, here's the instructions from your angels, I got to be open to receive instructions for myself. Mm -hmm. And it also keeps me in a position of making sure that I'm in integrity and that it's not, doesn't become about me and, uh, or the money or anything else. Mm -hmm that it's about when I'm sitting across from you and you're needing a reading from me, it's like ego's gotta go and it's all about you, what you need to hear, what you need to receive. And then I let it go because uh, it's the angel's message or it's God's message or the source message, whatever it is you wanna call it, mm -hmm. the divine message, I let it go. I can throw you the ball, it's up to you to catch it, it's up to you to take the advice because what I have found is that the information that I give is always correct always so angels don't lie angels don't lie divine doesn't lie doesn't lie but let me give you this the information is always correct but sometimes i do get it backwards or misconstrue what it is that i'm seeing feeling or hearing because i get all three clairs mm -hmm. so when i'm doing a reading on somebody i'll say okay i'm giving them information i'll say does that make sense to you and if and i encourage people because if it doesn't make sense you need to let me know and then I go back in or I go, okay, give me a minute and I reinforce or I look at it a different way or try to clarify the information that's coming through, but it's always correct. Okay, now do you ever argue with the information? You know, like, or, or when you ask the person that's studying before you, does this make sense? And they go, well, no, not really, but you're getting this clear voice from <laughs> divine says, yes, it does make sense. They're just denying the fact that it makes sense. So do you kind of get in the middle of some of the No, readings? not often. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can go back in and sometimes it's just a way of rephrasing it. Getting information is like downloading a computer. Mm -hmm. I feel like it comes in through the top of my head and I sometimes I see pictures, sometimes I hear voices, and sometimes I just get feelings. We all understand what those feelings are because we've all had that that sure. intuitive connection to mm -hmm. feelings. Um, and so it comes in very, very quickly and I talk very quickly when I do this. So everything it feels like goes into my head and it has to come out of my mouth and make sense to someone. So uh, it, the only time, uh, and somebody has said, no, that doesn't make sense. It's like, okay, give me a second. And I go back in and then I'll rephrase it in a different way. And once you rephrase it and then you hit, you, you say it in a way that makes sense to them because everything's filtering through my experiences, who I am. And so when you rephrase it, then they're always, oh, okay, I get that. If it's a mediumship reading and something's coming in very clearly about a loved one that has passed, mm -hmm. and I'll say, do you remember this? And I'll give, it's amazing to me the details that come through. I am constantly in awe that me, for one, can get this information. Anybody can, but it's like, this is amazing that we can connect with those that are on the other side. But sometimes the person, when they're in this energy, you can see how nice the energy is between us. Sometimes when you're in that energy and I, I'm, do you remember this happened or this person says to tell you about this? And they'll go, no, no, I don't remember that. And, I, and I'll go back in and it's like, no, no, you need to pay attention to that. I'll get emails a week or two later or a month later and they'll say, oh, I remembered, mm -hmm. or my daughter remembered. And, and it makes so much sense now um, that what you had said, because I record my readings. Oh, okay. So they can listen to them later because 
this is a lot of information, and sure. it's important information. Okay, now do you ever have, now how do you feel about passing on bad news? I mean, you know, like you, you have a person in front of you and they may not have long to live or they may be involved in an accident or something of that sort. Are, do you, how do you... If somebody, yeah, it's a good question too. Um, I look through, the, <laughs> I look through the, the readings I'm seeing through angelic eyes, mm -hmm. divine eyes. Information is given to a person with an opportunity to say, you, with an opportunity so they can then change things. Oh, you can okay. always change the path you're on. I'll give you an example, just a quick one, but I had a, a friend I was doing a reading on, and I try not to do readings on friends very often, but, um, and she said, I'd like to ask about my aunt. And, uh, and information came through, and it said, you know, she needs to take care of her health, she needs to let go of this, blah, blah, blah. All this inf very specific information. Mm -hmm. And the angel said, if she does not, this is going to affect her health. She could have a heart attack. So my friend passed on that information and it was an October reading. I remember this so clearly because I love it. Not, not that I was right, but I love it that the angels were so specific and they were so loving in this manner of what exactly she needed to do, but by, she didn't do any of it. And by January, she had a heart attack. Wow. But there's an option there. You see that, mm -hmm. that a person shows up, they're sitting across from me. That person is guided to me because I'm the best person to give them the reading because there's lots of readers out there. And the information is so loving and so caring that you have an opportunity to change the path that you're on, always. Okay, that, that brings up another question. Why are there so many readers out there? Really? It, this, this, I love that. you got good <laughs> questions. I like this. Because everybody on the planet is psychic. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. We're born that way. Oh, really? Children always see you ever notice babies are always looking somewhere off in the distance they're the closest thing to god that there is they're always seeing angels um, people um, are psychic and then until somebody tells them that they're not or the world tells them that that can't possibly be or that it's woo woo or it's evil or any of the other things that many people say Mostly about it Mostly strange yeah you're like you're a little weird no a little weird yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in it for that. No, yeah. no, no. I mean, no, I get that. But it's, um, but every single person is psychic. We all have this capability. It wasn't just, you know, blessed on to one or two people or now so many of them. Mm -hmm. But what's happening now on Earth, what's happening on this planet, is that the frequency or the energy of the planet is much higher than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. So there are actually scientists. I know, I see your eyes. It's like there mm -hmm. are actually scientists that measure how fast the planet itself is vibrating. Believe it or not, people get paid for this. And it's been scientifically proven that the planet is vibrating faster than it was, mm -hmm. which means that the frequency is higher, which means that the physical world and your spiritual world, the veil is thinner than it's ever been before. So you have more and more people trying to make a spiritual connection. They're making that spiritual connection. They're all of a sudden getting this download of information because we can all do it, mm -hmm. but now that the frequency is so high, it's not just a very small, diverse, strange, woo-woo group. I see. Ooh. Many of us have this, and more people are embracing it. Okay. It's becoming more mainstream. Very much so. Okay, I gotta take a little break, okay? Sure. And I wanna tell everybody, A Keys, where can we get this book? You can get it at Mystic Myrtles here in Kingman, which is great. I'll be having a workshop there too. Plus it's on Amazon.com and they can check my website. Okay, well worth the reading, okay? All right, we're gonna be right back after these messages. Don't go away, we're here with Linda West. And again, it's 2012 and we're gonna be talking about the future. <laughs> 